Welcome to Cooking with Jess. We are here today to make some jackfruit nachos. All right. There's not a lot that's going to go into this, but I'm here for this flavor, okay? Apparently, this uh, jackfruit business is a great substitute. I'm putting in some um, grape, some grapeseed oil in there. This is what jackfruit looks like. Now, I was not able to find this in a, in a um, glass um, or a package, which I prefer to do that than putting it, um, getting out of a tin or getting out of like a tin can. But this is what it looks like. What we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I'm going to mash it. If you have a food processor, you can put that in there as well, because the goal is to get it to look like, um, like shredded beef or like uh, shredded chicken. That's the look it's supposed to go for. Um, around here, we're all about making things look beautiful and pretty. So we are going to smush, smush, smush while that's happening. Um, what I did with this is I did rinse this off and drain it. It came in like a like a brine. And um, I just want to make sure that we got all that stuff out. So I'm just going to mash it and try to pull it apart. See, it's kind of, see the, the look it's giving now? How it's kind of like giving that, that shredded look. So that's what we're going to go for. And then we're going to add in these wonderful aromatics. I'm just waiting for the heat to... It's already done. Wow. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some savoy, yes? And I'm just going to let that saute just a few seconds. We're not even going to do too long of a saute in there. Okay. And so let it sit just for a moment while I continue to work or in this shredded look. Okay. Then we're going to add in the ajo. Do we remember what ajo means? That was not for our Spanish speakers, because I know you know what that means, but yeah, ajo is garlic. That's right. Good job, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and add that in there. I get so excited about this, Arono, because these are my favorites, man. These are my favorites. Especially like ajo and cebolla together when they're sauteing. It's that it's that pairing for the uh, it's for me. For me, it's 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 for me. That's that's what it is. All right, so we got that in there. Did cool down a little bit. I'm gonna let it sit because again, I just just wanted to sit just for a little bit because we're gonna come back while I keep working on this. And I didn't want to I didn't want to pull out the the food processor because I feel like this is easy by hand, especially since I'm going to um, I want to be real close with this paying attention that it doesn't it doesn't stay on too too long but if we were in a rush I would have probably taken out that I wouldn't because I just I do a lot of stuff by him my father gets on me all the time like why are you chopping stuff up and you could just use the thing that goes this is just this is the thing you're done and I'm like I could but it's just I don't know I, I'm really having that into using um a lot of like small appliances. I've said this before, you know, I just, I'm not a, I don't wanna say I'm not a fan because you know, it can be helpful. It's just, I don't wanna have to like break down all these different parts and then pull it out and use it. And you gotta break it down, clean it, put it back. I don't know. I mean, is it just me or I feel like if I have a cutting board and a knife, well, we can get this done very quickly. And we usually do. We're going in with some um, pasta de tomate. Okay. Then I have this wonderful little, oops, I have this wonderful little uh, plate here of some other seasoning, some dry seasonings. But we're going to pull it off on that just for a smidgen because I want to get this in there. It's so, so wonderful. And I want to break up this, this pasta de tomate because I want to make sure that that red color is going to be um, distributed evenly with the um, with the uh, the jackfruit. And as you, let me just give you a quick peek. You see that there? It's already starting to 
give me that shredded look. Now we got some big bits in here. So I'm gonna work on this a little quickly. But for the most part, we are getting, we're getting that shredded look, okay? Let me go ahead and put this in here because I don't want anything to stick. Good. Here we go. I see one big clump I want to definitely demolish when I get in here, okay? All right, let's stop with the scraping. It's a, it's a habit. I always like, you see like that for me, I got to scrape all this out, but I'm going to use my friend over here because this likes a little spatula. This thing, it gets it all out. That's why I use it so much. Look at that. Bum, boom, bum. Done. Carnet. You see that? Okay. So. Count that. And. Now what we're going to do. So there's like a really. This big piece right. You see that? That one. I don't like how that looks. So we're going to make sure we break that down. Because I, li I like to make sure that when we. Well, we are hooking up stuff here that we have like bite sizes, right? I'm real particular about that. Now, sometimes do I miss things? Yeah, because I'm doing it by hand or if I'm, even if I'm using a machine. You saw that. Why? Why? Everybody is saying, and then you want to, you want to be difficult. Now, other stuff is fine. Let me just slow down. It's me. I'm moving too fast. And boy, 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 boy. Have I been getting reminders about slowing down? Okay. I, uh, I'm attempting to make this without using my back brace. What? You had a back brace? Yes, I did. I still do. It's actually on the other side of this table. You can't see it. But, uh, with this back brace, I, um, I took a tumble down the stairs with my daughter. She's good. And, um, I am still in recovery mode. And um, I had a wonderful conversation, like when it had happened, when the fall happened. And uh, I was told, perhaps you might need to slow down and messages are being sent to you that you need to slow down. And I'm like, who are you talking about? You don't know my life. I need to slow down. That is facts, okay? All day. I am not the best at like the whole, this whole self-care movement. I remember telling my cousin, like, oh, yeah, you know, I do these, um, I take these, uh, like, these detox, ba detox baths. Um, I think I told him once a week at the time. This was a couple of years ago. And, honey, if I did three baths that year, that would have been amazing. But he was telling me, like, what that's supposed to do? You got a lot of stress in your life. You got a lot of things going on. And I'm, I'm just uncertain why you would think that taking a bath a week is gonna like it's supposed to do something so i'm on my journey i'm on my journey of better uh better self self-care being more present slowing down as you can see every so often we we have a little we have a slip up because i want to go fast like yeah let's hurry up let's make sure this stuff looks good and it's pretty and it's gonna taste wonderful and I'm moving and I'm moving, but uh, I get my reminders every so then, like that, that I need to slow down. Okay, so I got all the big chunky bits out, and I'm okay with it. I like how it looks. It looks good. So some, we got some little things. I'm not going to sit here and make it, like, stress me out because, I, as you still see, I'm talking, but I'm still smushing because I don't like it not to be uniform, but I think it looks really pretty. And now I'm ready for these spices. So what we have here, we have smoke papi paprika. We have um, comino or cumin. We have sal, that's salt. And then we have some oregano. And we're going to drop all this in here. And I'm sure that some of this, um, this uh, smoke paprika, that color from it, that red color, is also going to present just so lovely with this. It kind of reminds me, it looks to me, I don't know why I'm getting like tuna fish vibes from this. I know it's 
probably more along the lines like it looks like a um, like a shredded chicken kind of look, but maybe it's a color. Perhaps that's what it is. Let's see. See how gentle that little there? We got to make sure we protect this back. Boy, I tell you, if it's one thing I learned, do not fall down the steps, okay? Oh, that was an experience. All right, so I think it looks wonderful. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit of um, water. Because we want to also help the, uh, we want to help move the, like loosen up that, that the dried spices so that we can get the colors from it, but then also get the flavor so that it's married in here with the jackfruit. Lovely. Ooh, it just sucked up all that water, didn't it? Look at that. Smells good though. And you know, like, I don't even really, outside of the, um, the ajo and the cebollas, I'm not really, I'm not really smelling any thing like pronounced i don't know what the jackfruit like i didn't smell it before i uh before i uh like dr um dr when i opened up the can i didn't smell it i didn't like i didn't get any specific like oh this smells like this or in a good or bad way so that's what i'm smelling i'm sorry i said where is it me we are falling right in with us let's see all right that looks pretty. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna make our nachos. And that's it. Like, there's nothing else that really needs to be done with this. That's it. Okay, we're gonna sit, it, sit that there. Ooh, slowly, we're gonna get this plate. And we're gonna make it look pretty. That's what we're gonna do. So I already got the little, little nachos there. And I got just a little bit of tomatoes and some, some vegan cheese. Now, I did not have like shredded cheese, sh cheese. Um, so I had like the slice um, vegan cheese and I just cut it up, cause why not? Like, is it supposed to taste different cause it's not shredded? Come on now. But just for the littles, cause sometimes, you know, uh, presentation is a huge thing and I get it, it makes sense, I get it. So I just went ahead and I cut it up because it's the same flavor. It's just in a different shape. I want to taste this. Let's see what we got here. That's what I want to do. Let's, let's go to it. Let's see. Let's see. So I'm tasting a lot of cebolla. I'm not tasting the, the smoked pap paprika. I thought I was going to taste that pretty for Nilsey, but not really. That's surprising. I do taste the ajo, like, a lot. I actually put extra in it. I was only supposed to put, like, two, but whatever our recipe is calling for, uh, one and a half, but two, we're doing three, three and a half, four, min minimum we're doing three. Like, that's just what we're doing. I like the flavor. I do like the flavor. Now, if you are somebody who likes heat, I would recommend that you add like a chili powder, um, maybe a little bit of cayenne, just to give it a little bit of heat. Um, I like the flavor that smoked paprika gives. I'm not tasting it in here, but I'm hoping that as it cooks down and everything, um, meaning all the dry spices, like they open up when they get, um, when it gets hydrated. I love saying that, but I, I I don't even know if that's the right word, but I think that it will, you'll, it'll be a little bit more pronounced. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and start building because I'm ready to eat. And I keep saying, I'm going to stop doing these stiff shows when I'm hungry because that's a set it up. That's a setup. It really is. All right, here we go. Then we're going to throw that on there. And then we're going to add, add we're going to dice up a little bit of tomatoes. So we're gonna put that on there as well. Try to make this look pretty. Okay. I'm still working on that. This is not like my, this is not my well, daytime job. Making food look wonderful, but I think I'm trying. Cause why not? Let's try. All right, so we got some tomatoes. 
and we're gonna put on my shredded <laughs> my shredded right my shredded vegan cheese on top and look at that now i guess if you want to get fancy you could melt it i know this particular one like it melts it melts pretty good but i i don't we don't need for it to be melted again it's about the flavor there you have it all right i'm ready i'm ready spoon just to the side let's get a little piece that i'm just gonna big piece why are we why are we frightened like i'm wanting to eat a little bit let's go ahead and see what cheese on this oh. Here we go. See that? Look at that. Look at that. Ha. Next time I'm taking a small bite. So, it was hot. But it tastes great. I think that's gonna wait for it to cool down. <laughs> that's the first step. Really, this was really easy. It was flavorful, quick. I would I would say put it in a taco if you want to try something different. If you want, yeah, I wanted to do it on a nacho just because it's a little, you know, a little small little thing you can pick up and eat. But yeah, try this in a taco too. And tell me what you think. Alrighty, until next time. Bye. It's pretty good.